from the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel. With the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents The Daily TV Mass. Welcome to the celebration of the Daily TV Mass. I am Father John Berteo. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the contributions from three donors. The first is Brian Chan A. Su from Weston, Florida, on the birthday of his beloved wife, Norma, of 44 years, who went home to the Lord on May 4, 2019 and in thanksgiving to Our Lady of Lourdes for his daughter, Natalie, and granddaughters, Natasha and Nikki. The second is an anonymous donor from Mississauga, Ontario, for peace in the world. The third is an anonymous donor. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. Today, the third last day of May, month of Mary, we pray, celebrate the Mass in memory of our Blessed Mother. And we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And your spirit. With sincerity, with love, and great devotion to our Lord Jesus and his Blessed Mother, we gather together as a family, a community of faith around the world to celebrate this beautiful gift. So let's pause for a moment and ask our dear Lord to forgive us our failures. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who are pleased to choose Blessed Mary as the virginal chamber where your word would dwell, grant, we pray, that under her protection we may participate joyfully in her commemoration. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Sirach. I thank you and praise you, O God, my Savior, and I bless the name of the Lord. While I was still young, before I went on my travels, I sought wisdom openly in my prayer. Before the temple, I asked for her, and I will search for her until the end. From the first blossom to the ripening grape, my heart delighted in her. My foot walked on the straight path. From my youth, I followed her steps. I inclined my ear a little and received her, and I found for myself much instruction. I made progress in her. To him who gives wisdom, I will give glory. For I resolved to live according to wisdom, and I was zealous for the good and I shall never be disappointed. My soul grappled with wisdom, and in my conduct I was strict. I spread out my hands to the heavens and lamented my ignorance of her. I directed my soul to her, and in purity I found her. The Word of the Lord.
hopes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eyes. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. More to be desired. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus and the disciples came to Jerusalem. As he was walking in the temple, the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders came to Jesus and said, By what authority are you doing these things? Who gave you this authority to do them? Jesus said to them, I tell you, I, I, I will ask you one question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Did the baptism of John come from heaven, or was it of human origin? Answer me. They argued with one another, if we say from heaven, he will say, why then did you not believe him? But shall we say of human origin, then they were afraid of the crowd for all regarded John as, a true, as truly a prophet. So they answered Jesus, we don't know. And Jesus said to them, neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Some years ago, a priest friend of mine gave me a book, and the book's name was, is called The Shack, and it's by William Young. I read the book a couple of times, really impressed by it, was so impressed that I had to read it twice. And then lo and behold, a few years later, in fact, in 2017, there was a movie based on the book, a little different as they usually are, but it was based on the book. And of course, I have seen it a couple of times too. Very briefly, it's based on a family tragedy that takes place with a dad known as Mac. He goes into a very deep depression because of what happened. He travels then to a distant cottage where he encounters three strangers. One of them is named Wisdom. She is a beautiful young lady with a perfect complexion, complexion great vocabulary, and speaks 
with a most calming, inviting, and sweet voice that offers great comfort to this dad who is in great anger and distress, especially towards God for allowing what has happened to his daughter. Wisdom empowers and teaches Mac how to forgive the person who killed his daughter so that he would learn how to maybe forgive and live free. Dear friends, in reality, today's readings give us a very soothing and human image of Jesus who is gifted with the gift of wisdom of the Holy Spirit in his teaching and life in general. As one commentary puts it, in the New Testament, wisdom is described as a gift of the Holy Spirit. And it continues, wisdom allows us to see the larger picture, to stand back and see what's happening. The larger picture, of course, gives us a better understanding of what is happening, especially with an individual. As I continue to grow older, I have developed a great deal of love and admiration for the seniors in my life. As an example, my paternal grandfather was a man who I consider even to this day a man of great wisdom who many people loved and respected, including me. He was no pushover, but he always, always, there's no but, he always spoke the truth, not to please anyone, but to live free. Perhaps you yourself know of someone, perhaps an older priest, maybe a religious, maybe a family member who has gained such wisdom over the years. I once heard a priest make the statement or verbalize the words, wisdom in action, wisdom in action, and then explained, this is when the wise person listens almost passively to the other without judging or commenting until the individual is finished speaking or sharing. The reply is then addressed directly to the situation, having the wisdom of Christ at the very center of that conversation. In other words, being centered in Christ and guided by the Holy Spirit. In other words, what would Jesus do or say in such a situation? Back to the movie, as I mentioned, the person playing Lady Wisdom portrays a loving, non-judgmental character who did not solve the tragedy that Mac was in. She gave him the tools to be open and accept God's will of the situation. Let me close with some great words of advice from my daily prayer book. And I quote, when an unexpected and difficult situation happens to you, you can, stir, you can still learn from Lady Wisdom. In other words, in short, ask yourself, what would Jesus do or say in that situation? Be centered in Christ and in his wisdom. Take over the driving in the situation and let the Spirit of Christ guide you. So live free, live happy, live centered in Christ. Amen. 
Our prayer intentions for the month of May. We pray for all those in the daily TV Mass community who have asked to be included in our prayer intentions book, especially those asking for peace in their family and wisdom. We pray to the Lord. For Pope Francis and all in leadership positions in the church, that the wisdom of the Trinity be their guide in decision-making, we pray to the Lord. For the intentions of our generous sponsors from Weston, Florida, Mississauga, and an anonymous donor, we pray to the Lord. For an increase in vocations and devotions to Mary through the praying of the Holy Rosary every day, we pray to the Lord. Lord That Mary, seat of wisdom, guide and protect all of us in our daily challenges, we pray to the Lord. Lord For our beloved death, that they may rest in peace, we pray to the Lord. As we conclude this month of May, the month of Mary, let us pray for all mothers and an end to abortion on demand. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the, the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit, you Lord, may I sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the offerings your people make in commemoration of Blessed Mary be acceptable to you, O Lord, for by her virginity she pleased you and in humility conceived your Son, our Lord who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your almighty deeds and exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's sense, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Take a moment to wish someone who may be around you a sign of peace, a gesture of peace. And if you're alone, just think of someone you'd like to be at peace with.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us join together in this prayer to St. Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted his only son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage and defend us from every evil. Amen. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of this spiritual food, we pray, O Lord our God, that steadily imitating the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may always be found intent on service of the Church and may know the joys of doing your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go from this Eucharist in the peace of Christ. God bless you. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass.